Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to install Dev C++ on your Windows operating system. And then I am also going to show you a simple hello world program on C language. And I am also going to show you how to run that on our Dev C++ environment. Right, so do watch the video till the end. If you face any difficulty, please do comment in our comment sections. I am always there to help you. So let's begin our video. So to download Dev C++, you need to first simply go to the browser and in that this bar, just simply search with Dev C++ PP download and just simply hit enter and you will get this Dev C++ download as a first search result. So this link I am going to put in the description. So you will get this link right in our description, no, not a problem. So here you can see we have this download button. So you need to just simply click on this download button and after you know 5 seconds it's going to start downloading our Dev C++. And see it has rightly started our Dev C++. Once our download gets completed you need to just simply click on this installer. And it will ask you for administrative privileges just simply click on yes. And let's minimize our browser. So our default language is you know selected as English. If you want to change it, you can always do that from here. So after you know choosing English, you can just simply click on OK. So this is our license agreement. You can always read the license agreement. So after reading that, you just simply click on I agree. And these are all files and folders that they're going to use. Main thing is this TDM. GCC 4.9.2 compiler is what they are going to use. So this compiler will actually help to interpret our program. So you know everything is fine. Just simply click on next. And in our program files they are going to create this devcpp folder. Right and you can see the space required is 346 MB on our C drive. Currently we have 64 GB of free space which is totally fine. Just simply click on install. And there you go, our installation has rightly begun. So first it's going to extract and then it's going to install. So this will take some time, about a couple of minutes I would say. So once it gets finished, I'll be coming back. So we'll come back. And now you can clearly see that our Dev C++ 5.11 setup is rightly completed and also run dev c++ 5.11 this checkbox is rightly checked so desktop shortcut is also created just simply click on finish to launch our dev c++ so here you need to configure our dev c++ so english original is our language which is fine if you want to change as i have mentioned earlier you can change that just simply click on next and uh, it is asking to choose our theme so by default they have selected consolas if you want to change with any of the theme over here just simply select and you can see the changes over here i'm going to go back to the consolas right and the color you can choose you know any of the color from here let's say one uh, you are willing to choose visual studio type of color it will change to that theme if you want to choose ocean, it's going to turn into blue and so on, right? Twilight will be black. I'm going to select twilight for now. And icons also you can change. Right, the, it will change to this type of icon. New look will be this. So this you can, you know, tweak and all. Just simply click on next. So Dev C++ is rightly configured. Just simply click on OK. And there you go. Our uh, Dev C++ is rightly opened over here. And this is our interface so this is the most important thing you can see our compiler is rightly selected over here so sometimes what happen is yeah this compiler get missing and when you run the program it you get some error so do you know download the right exe so that you get the compiler which also gets installed along with devc plus plus so once you get this interface you need to go to file new and you need to click on new project And here you need to choose what type of project you'd, you'd like to code. So I'm going to choose C. 
for C++ also it will be same process just simply choose you know IMT project give the project name as hello C just simply click on OK and uh, this is fine just simply save it and there you go our project hello C is rightly created so here is our text file so here let's save this file as uh, you know hello C dot C just simply save this so this dot C is our extension and hello C is our file name so hash include I'm going to write a simple uh, program so this font might be very small to you so I'm going to you know make it big editor option and I'm going to go to font and I'm going to increase the size to something really big so that you can you know watch this with no problem so this is I hope you can now see it properly stdio.h int main and I'm going to just simply print f hello world just simply end with a semicolon and just return zero why you need to return zero because uh, this is our int main method so here we are expecting to return some integer so that's why we are returning zero zero means no error so just simply write this much code and just simply click on this run button so what it will do is it will going to start building our project so here they have found an error so sorry for this spelling mistake just a small typo just again I click on this run button so you can see it has rightly built it successfully and you can see the output hello world is rightly shown right so this hello world is rightly shown over here so in this way you can easily install dev c++ on a windows operating system i have rightly shown you how to download the right exe and how to install that on our windows operating system if you face any difficulty please do comment in our comment sections i'm always there to help you right and please do subscribe our channel that will really help me to make more such videos so that's pretty much all about this video thank you very much for watching and god bless you all